This is a video about the empirical distribution and the plug-in principle and related things. So if we imagine we have a data set where we observe uh, five values of yi. So y1 is 1. We'll keep the numbers simple. y2 is 3 y3 is 2, and then 2, and then 3 again. The idea for the empirical distribution is to sort of treat this data sample as if it were the population. So if we think we have five uh, total samples here, we basically, you could imagine, we give each one equal one-fifth probability. And then what we'll notice is that uh, some of these values are repeated, right? We see two in there twice. So instead of, we can sort of simplify this instead of having two one-fifths, we can just have a single two-fifths. And then similarly for the uh, three is in there twice, so instead of two one-fifths, we'll just sum those together. And we get two-fifths there also. So uh, in the book, it talks about this. We could imagine a random variable called S who has this discrete distribution where the probability of 1 is equal to 1 fifth. That's coming from this first number up here. The probability of value 2 is equal to 2 fifths coming from that value in there. And similarly, the probability of 3 is also equal to 2 fifths. So it's this discrete probability distribution. Um, and this is often a good approximation of the true population distribution if n is a bit larger than 5, shall we say. Uh, but we'll keep it at 5 just to get some of the terminology down. So this uh, plug-in principle or analogy principle basically says if we want to learn something about the population distribution of y, instead we can look at the corresponding feature of the distribution of s and use that as our guess or our estimate. So if we want to learn about the mean of y, we could look at the mean of s. Or if we want to look at probabilities of y, we can look at probabilities of s. And the uh, value or the statistic we compute from s is often called the sample analog of whatever population feature. And it often has a hat over it to indicate it's computed from the sample data rather than um, the population. So for example, if in the population we were interested in the probability that y equals uh, 2, let's say, could be any value, then our sample analog is what's the probability that s equals 2. So that we already computed earlier is equal to 2 fifths in our little example here. I'll put this 2 fifths. Um, and again, sometimes the sample analog, we would write the population uh, feature, but put a hat over either the P or sometimes the whole thing. That's not a very uh, 
pointy hat. Let's make it a little pointier. Something like that um, to indicate it's from the sample. Um, and then as another example in the population, we might be interested in the mean of y. And so by this plug-in principle or analogy principle uh, would suggest maybe we should look at the sample analog. So again, we'll put a hat over the thing we're interested in. And the idea is, again, we do the same feature, but for s instead of y. So that would be, in this case, the expected value of s. Um, and I think I made these <laughs> numbers a little too complicated for me to do in my head, but I'll try. So expected value, we multiply value times probability, and then sum over the different values. So 1 times 1 point. 5, or sorry, times 1 fifth plus 2 times 2 fifths plus 3 times 2 fifths. Um, so I'll be 1 fifth plus 4 fifths plus 6 fifths. So I'll be 10, 11 fifths. Fifths, excuse me. Um, is our sample analog in this example. Um, and that's also the same as the sample average of y. If we just look back at our raw data, right? 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 is 11. Our n is 5, so our sample average is 11 divided by 5, just like we had. Uh, sometimes, too, we might, instead of writing it out, the mean with the expectation operator, you might just write a parameter like mu or beta, and then our uh, sample analog, we would put a hat, like mu hat or beta hat.